Aquarius. I'm doing a daily reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is a daily reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can be notified every time I post your videos, Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Just gonna shuffle and we'll start with your reading. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Venus, what are the reading? What are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What are the messages? We have the Knight of Wands. What are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Justice. What are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon? Two of Cups. What are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The Empress. Messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Magician, messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Page of Wands as the overarching energy for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I'm going to clarify. Okay, Aquarius. Let's clarify the energies that I'm picking up here. So we have this Knight of Wands. We have the Justice card, the Two of Cups, the Empress, the Magician, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands as the overarching energy of your reading. I'm already picking up an energy of somebody that is wanting to rush in right now. Aquarius, somebody finds you very attractive with this Knight of Wands here and uh, with the Empress underneath. There's somebody that finds you very attractive, Aquarius. You could also be um, a mother... If you're not a mother, you could also just be somebody that is very nurturing, very beautiful. You have a lot of abundance around you. You know, abundance doesn't usually, doesn't always mean finances. You could just have like, you know, a lot of love, a lot of, you know, self-worth. You see the Empress, the Empress is relaxed. She doesn't want for nothing. She's very beautiful. She's very attractive. This person could find you very attractive. With this Knight of Wands, this is a very passionate connection. This person could be wanting to come in and romance you. This person could could find you very attractive, Aquarius. This person could be wanting to come in and maybe make love to you with this Knight of Wands on top of the Empress. They find you extremely attractive. You could also be dealing with the Libra with this Justice card here. Or this person could be wanting to rectify a situation whereby you could have been treated unfairly. If there was a situation in this relationship whereby you felt like Things are not balanced. This person is wanting to come and balance things out with you, Aquarius, with this justice next to the two of cups. 
this person sees you as their divine counterpart aquarius with this justice and this two of cups this person is wanting to come and fix a situation with you whereby you could have not, you could have felt like you were treated unfairly and we also have the empress here this person finds you extremely attractive there's no two ways about that this person is extremely attracted to you this person sees you as everything with this empress this empress energy came out yesterday as well so if you didn't check out my read my, my previous reading check out that reading aquarius depending on when i decide to post this reading check out the reading that i i, I posted prior to me posting this one because there's a powerful message that came out for you there as well. I feel like this is the same person. Eh? This could be the same energy. Or this could be another energy that is quite similar to the energy that I was picking up yesterday. But there's this energy of somebody that holds you in high reg regards with this Empress. Empress is also Taurus energy. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Libra. With the Two of Cups, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Knight of Pentacles, we have Capricorn, Virgo. Taurus and the magician we have some Gemini energy here it could be either one of the signs either one of the nine signs it doesn't have to be any of the signs that are here I'm just saying that um, these are the energies that I'm picking up here I am going to clarify but I'm picking up an energy of somebody that is wanting to rush in wanting to come towards you at this point this person could also like be experiencing like you know some arousal they could be very aroused at this point they could be wanting to come and maybe make love to you because the knight of wands is very passionate it's a very passionate uh, knight so this person could find you very attractive aquarius they want to come and rush in and fix the situation if you guys said like an ending here because we have this justice card and the justice card speaks of like balancing things out and you know if you are treated unfairly in a situation this person is wanting to come in and fix that and treat you fairly and balance the equation with this two of cups energy here as well this person sees you as their other half as their equal counterpart somebody they want somebody they truly love you could also love this person a lot aquarius you could also see them in that way like you you guys see each other in the same way like you see how with this two of cups energy the way you see them that's the way they see you if you see this person as somebody that is you want to have a relationship like you are so in love with them this person is extremely in love with you as well too aquarius and they find you very attractive with this empress energy here with this knight of wands this person is wanting to come in they find you very attractive they want they want to come in and have like a passionate relationship with you you know the relationship is very passionate for them i don't know if it's the same for you but this person finds you very attractive aquarius i'm going to clarify oh And then we have this page of wands. So this person is really wanting to come in. We also have the chariot underneath the page of wands and the two of wands, the queen of wands. This person finds you very attractive, Aquarius. Like it's so obvious here. Yeah? It's so obvious here, yeah? hey, because we have this page of wands as the bottom at the bottom of the deck there, and we have this two, this uh, chariot. The chariot is the fastest moving. Um, card on the tarot deck this person is wanting to rush in and is there with the knight of wands this person is wanting to rush in right now aquarius um and i feel like the this person could be trying to like you know hold back with this knight of pentacles they could be trying to take things slowly but it's like they have this urge because they are so attracted to you that they are not able to control this person could be wanting to just like rush in you see with this two of wands it's like they've decided to take a leap of faith they're like okay you know what i think i have everything that i need to go towards aquarius or there could be as also and also this queen of wands here this person finds you very attractive aquarius with this queen of wands here i'm also sensing an energy of this person in the near future this person wanting to come towards you in the near future aquarius this person is wanting to come towards you in the near future with this knight of pentacles here at the end of the reading um they could be wanting to take things slow you know the knight of pentacles he is the slowest moving knight the reason is the slowest moving knight is because he's the hardest moving knight is you know he pays attention to detail the knight of pentacles is going to take care of you he's extremely reliable and you know that sometimes speed speed doesn't really work if you take your time 
um, in any situation, that's when you actually reap the benefits of anything. So this person could be working very hard right now, maybe on their finances, on their money. This person could also be wanting to take care of you because they see you as this empress. You're somebody that they want to take care of. So this person could be trying to work on their money and their finances as well. So when they come to you, they come correct financially, Aquarius. So let's clarify these energies. If this person is not already in your life, they are coming towards your career. So if this is a past person, this person is thinking heavily about you and they, have, they see you very, they find you very attractive. So I'm going to clarify these energies. Uh, I'm also picking up this Five of Cups. When I just shuffled right now, the Five of Cups came out. There could be an energy of regret. There could have been something that happened in this uh, relationship in this union with this person that um somebody is in regret i don't know if it's you or, or if it's this person but there is this heavy energy of regret hence maybe that's why they want to be coming and there's just this energy and give you justice and balance things out and give you the respect that you deserve the love that you respect that the love that you deserve and uh treat you fairly aquarius if you felt treated and fairly in a situation this person is in like deep regret here with this five of cups energy that i see here aquarius don't forget to like and subscribe if you resonate with the reading. This person could have left you out in the cold with this five of pentacles. This person could have left you out in the cold. <sighs> Aquarius. There could have been a situation whereby you felt neglected. You felt like you were taken for granted with this five of pentacles. There could Maybe this person could also be going through a lack of finances or you could be going through a lack of finances with this five of pentacles here, yeah, Aquarius. But there's like a lack. This person could also be missing you so much. They feel like they are left out in the cold. You see the facial expression on this guy here on the card. He's like in distress. This person is like in deep regret. They could also be currently feeling like they are left out in the cold. If you decided to block this person or stop communication with this person, this person is feeling left out in the cold, Aquarius. Everybody has free will. So if you block them, I'm not saying you must unblock them. If you, if you stop communicating with this person, I'm not saying you must uh, continue communicating with them. I'm just reading the energies as I see them. Every decision is up to you. But remember that if anyone put, put you in a situation where it was very toxic and very painful and traumatizing for you, I would not advise you to go back. You must first heal your energy. If you heal your energy and you heal yourself, spend time with yourself and heal yourself. You are going to be more aligned with somebody that is for you. So if you, you heal yourself, you will stop attracting people that are there to hurt you. So I'm just picking up the energy as it goes. Don't forget that even bad people can love us because even bad people, something can be bad for you. Somebody can be bad for you, but they can still be in love with you. So it's your decision. You choose whether you want to be with that person or or what aquarius this person is wanting to come in right now and romance you with this knight of cups this knight of cups this person is coming in with this beautiful romantic energy this person is like they just had an epiphany i'm just picking up this energy of someone that just had an epiphany i maybe like feel like i'm losing my breath as i'm talking this person what is wanting to come in and romance they will be they are wanting to come in and issue an apology if you feel like they wronged you or you were misled in any way. This person is wanting to come in and issue an apology. Aquarius here. Oh, they are just jumping out so quickly. The message is this person wants to talk. This person is very... With this night of ones here, it's like there's so many things in their head when it comes to you. They're just wanting to like... They want you to know these things. It's like they wish you could know these things. So I feel like that's why the messages are coming out so quickly today. We have this two of swords. This person could also be feeling like stuck at this point, not knowing exactly what to say to you with this two of swords here. I see them just like silent, not knowing what to say, not knowing what to do. Because if they did something that is uh, that uh, is bad, Aquarius, they could be you know scared to come back and not know if you're going, how you're going to receive them if they were to come back to you. Oh, we have death. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio here with this death. But something ended here, Aquarius. Something ended and this person is in deep regret. This person is wanting to come and balance things out with you, Aquarius. Something ended here and someone is in serious, serious, serious regret here, Aquarius. Another way for you to know who this person is, could have, it could be someone that you had an ending with, Aquarius. This could have been someone you had an ending with. It could also be someone that is afraid that, that something is going to end. 
maybe they did something and they regret doing what they did and they are scared that you're going to leave them with this death energy here that you're just going to end things with them but there's this energy of regret i am sense i'm picking up on heavy like um depression as well with this five of cups and this death there's some scorpio energies here as well and we have your energy here at the bottom of the deck aquarius you could also be dealing with someone that is feeling stuck they could be feeling stuck currently maybe stuck in a situation stuck in their head they're feeling very anxious you see the two of swords also came out this person could not be they don't know what to say to you right now aquarius this person could be in this energy of feeling stuck not being able to move not being able to say anything if you block them or something they feel like they can't get to you it's like you know they just this person is like in a very bad situation right now aquarius it's not looking good for this person this person could be very anxious right now with this eight of swords they could also be in a self-imposed prison where they just like doing it themselves they just like maybe have like a lot of fearful thoughts like if i was to call her if i was to text her what if she doesn't respond what if or what if he doesn't respond if it's a man or it's a woman you're dealing with because terror is fluid in gender as well so you know what if i call her and she doesn't respond what if i call him and he doesn't respond and that's the energy that i'm i'm getting here you know what if they don't want to talk to me what if aquarius doesn't want to talk to me that is the energy that i'm picking up here somebody could be very scared and anxious at this point when it comes to like you know reaching out to you aquarius and we have your energy the star came out aquarius they could also be wanting to heal this relationship or whatever you have here you could also be dealing with another aquarius with the star energy here aquarius there could also be a situation whereby they want to heal the situation with you they could also be seeing you looking very beautiful with this empress energy here maybe you are outside you're getting a lot of attention you know aquarius you're the star of the zodiac you are so unusual you are ruled by uranus and saturn but there's a lot of like heavy uranus energy in uh, aquarius uh, saturn rules capricorn but with aquarius there's a lot of like uranus energy which is like very creative very unique it's very intoxicating that aquarius energy because it's ray this person could be seeing you in this light where you're getting a lot of attention you're looking very beautiful you take care of yourself you could also be healing at this point aquarius you could be trying to heal yourself from a situation this person could also be trying to heal themselves from a situation but there's this heavy energy of wanting to heal something here aquarius you could also be dealing with another aquarius with a star here Yeah, these are the last cards and then I'm going to pull. We have the lovers. We have the devil. We have the king of pentacles. Aquarius. I don't know who you're dealing with. I don't know who you're dealing with. But I'm sensing that you're dealing with someone that is not just... This is not something that is a, a play thing. I, I feel like this is, I don't know if I'm reading for the same people that I was reading for yesterday, but this is quite uh, similar. We have this devil energy and the lovers. There's a lot of love here. There could also be some soul ties, some toxicity. There could also be um, some obsessive behavior. Someone could be obsessing over you right now. With this two of cups, sorry. With this uh, devil energy and the lovers then we also have the two of cups here it came out but we have this devil and the lovers there's someone that is stuck on you aquarius at this point you must be careful if this person is prone to like violent outbursts or something like that or obsessive behavior where they could be stalking you you feel unsafe you must take care of yourself but i'm just feeling this energy of like you being tied with this person like it's very difficult to separate from this relationship this person could also be feeling that way you could also be dealing with a capricorn and a gemini this person could also be feeling like it's very, very difficult to break free from you aquarius this person could be feeling like it's difficult to stop thinking about you with this lovers and this devil here and it's like i don't know if you guys maybe had like amazing sexual intercourse you know with this devil energy because this person finds you very sexually attractive with this knight of wands here and the empress here underneath you know
this part this person finds you very attractive let me just put them this way the knight of wands the knight of wands is very passionate and the knight of wands is a tendency to be last driven i do feel like there's a lot of love in this uh, connection with this two of cups and the lovers there's a, like in the knight of cups there's a lot of love in this connection a lot of emotion <clears throat> But I'm sensing that Aquarius, that um, this, this like you know, you there's also like some physical energy that I'm getting. There could also have been like a situation whereby um, there was some toxicity in terms of like maybe like intercourse. I don't know if you guys were having it a lot or what, but this person is constantly thinking about you. This person is always thinking about you. There could also be like some demonic soul ties with this devil energy here. There could also be some addictions, sexual addictions, drug addictions, alcohol addictions. But I'm sensing like, you know, heavy, obsessed energy, obsessive energy. If you please check out my, my previous reading, you might also resonate with that. You're dealing with someone that could is potentially like, um, and we also have this page of swords. We could have someone that is like spying on you as well. If this person is like obsessed with you thinking about you all the time nothing stops them from spying on you they could be spying on you on social media they could be like driving by your house trying to see if your car is outside if you have left if you are there who you're with but this person is going to be, could be trying to find a lot of information about you this person is having sleepless nights with this nine of swords energy here aquarius this person is having sleepless nights about you right eh? This person is having sleepless nights about you, Aquarius. Like, wow. This is some heavy energy, Aquarius. So let's pull out some clarifiers. And you know, we did pull out this. We did clarify this one with this page of wands. It's similar to this page knight of wands. This person is going to rush in. They want like this very passionate energy. This person is like wanting to rush in. They find you extremely attractive. And they, they are very, they're thinking about you a lot. It's very difficult for them not to think about you right now, Aquarius. I don't know what you did to this person. But this person can't stop thinking about you. This person is like, could be obsessed with you. You might not see this. Eh? You, they could be hiding it. But this is the energy that I picked up. If you resonated with the reading, please give this video a thumbs up. So I'm going to clarify images i'm going to clarify with these cards here so we can get more information about this union that you have with this person let's get some more information about this is some very serious relationship that you're having with this person aquarius what is the advice for aquarius what are the messages for aquarius yes no this person could be wanting to be like you know i feel i see them in this energy of like can i call, can i talk to the aquarius must i text them you know must i text them must i call them and then one mind is saying yes and the other mind is saying you know, is saying no it's like they're going back and forth not knowing like you know they want to come to you with this yes they want to come to you so much but something is like no don't do it they could be scared and then they're like i want to do it they get so excited about it i want to do it and then something is like no don't do it this person could be in that energy of like wanting to come towards you but it's like they have like a devil and an angel on their shoulders and one is saying do it and the other one is saying don't do it so this is a very intense relationship you're having with this person Aquarius it's very intense what are the messages for Aquarius and then we have last quarter moon in Capricorn you could be dealing with a Capricorn leave the past behind if this was something that was toxic Aquarius maybe you are being advised right now and guided to leave it behind leave it in the past this person could also be guided to leave whatever it is that is keeping them stuck in the past if they are trying to come towards you and something is keeping them stuck they could be guided to leave whatever that is in the past aquarius let me pull out one card again Okay, we have first got someone in Libra. 
keep your heart open you could be dealing with a libra we also have um first quarter moon in aquarius trust the universe you could be dealing with an aquarius and open up to change new moon in aquarius so we have two aquarius here so you could be dealing with an aquarius we also have the star come out today aquarius you could, you could be dealing with another fellow aquarius here maybe that's why it's so intense or you could be dealing with the libra you could be dealing with the capricorn we also had gemini we also had scorpio it could be any sign really because this could also just be the energy that you're getting about this person that you know trust in the universe open up to change and keep your heart open so it doesn't really matter what sign it is if you resonate with the reading it is your reading and it's quite possible that there are other aspects of your lover's birth chart that you're not aware of so if you feel like you want to check out their birth chart use the link on my bio it's not affiliated with me it's a very valid source it's free of charge where you can be able to get a full birth chart aquarius uh, if you feel like you want to spy on your your partner if you don't know whether or you know where their moon is their sun is their venus is their mars is but when it comes to relationships i feel like you must look at mars and venus and moon yeah the sun as well and also i feel like a bit of mercury but then mostly venus because you could be an aquarius with like venus in scorpio venus and pisces and stuff like that and you they say like oh aquarius is so detached and they don't fall in love but if you have those aspects like water aspects you'll be that person that is always in love so your emotions are going to be very they're going to be like watery you will not be the detached kind of aquarius you'll be very emotional because of the other uh, aspects of your birth chart so what is the advice for aquarius rise above the dark days do not fight them but have faith that the light will always retain success and happiness are coming enjoy and celebrate that's some beautiful energy for you aquarius i'm going to pull out the one last deck the sacred creators deck this one and then i'm done with you don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps with my channel so i can be able to to reach more people that might need this readings aquarius what is the advice for aquarius We are stepping into the new year but that doesn't really matter because time is fluid so it's not really important if you are stuck in the house aquarius not doing anything and not wanting you know not having maybe company and all that don't worry about it time if you if, if it's not important to you if like the the new year stuff celebrations are not important to you don't feel so bad about it it's just time is going to pass feed your artist feed your artist so if you're a creative person or you know you are into the arts you are being encouraged to feed that side of yourself right now aquarius thank you for watching see you next time aquarius bye